Well, Melbourne youth worker Les Twentyman has died aged 76 and is being remembered as a passionate worker who spent his life working to better the lives of Melbourne's young people. Les spent more than four decades campaigning on issues including drug abuse, homelessness, social welfare and prison reform too. Now, his back-to-school program provided kids with textbooks and other school supplies too, helping more than 17,000 children stay in school since it was launched. Les also worked for years as a school teacher in the city's western suburbs, as well as coaching local footy teams too. And Paul Burke, CEO of the Les Twentyman Foundation, which is continuing his work, joins me now. Thank you so much for your time today, Paul. Um, firstly, my condolences to you. Uh, how are you feeling? How is everyone at the foundation feeling after this news? Well, it, it's been quite a shock and uh, the, the outpouring of grief has been extraordinary. Um, We've got people from across Melbourne and some people from across Australia who are commenting on how shocked they are at, um, at losing Les at this time. Now, we understand that he passed away at home, surrounded by his family. Um, I just, we heard there before we came to you the incredible work that Les has done. He's saved thousands of lives. Uh, what impact has he had on Victoria's young people? Oh, it's immeasurable, um, particularly in the western suburbs. I mean, he's he's championed um, at-risk and vulnerable young people, uh, mainly in the western suburbs, but not only in the western suburbs. Um, I was out, out and about regularly with Les, and you literally could not move around Melbourne without him being recognised and people wanting to come up and, and, and talk with him. And I was always surprised at the number of people that came up and thanked him because at some point in their life, he had helped them. He'd helped them through school. He helped them into an employment pathway. Um, he, he got them out of trouble and onto a, onto a good path in life. So, I mean, his family certainly will be feeling it right now, but you need to understand that Les's family stretches across Melbourne. It's enormous. I, I was reading a few articles about him today and just co people's comments as well and they were saying he was just so friendly to everybody he met and if he could help you, he would. And that's sort of the legacy that he leaves behind and the kind of character that he was as well. What's the last conversation that you had with Les? Uh, we were talking on Thursday, uh, just before uh, Good Friday, um, about uh, there's another little project we've got. We've, um, we've been assisting some of the Aboriginal communities up in the top end with uh, supplying them with uh, clothing and footwear. Uh, we've already had uh, one batch sent up there with the assistance of a charity in the Northern Territory and assistance from the Royal Flying Doctor Service. And we were talking about getting another batch up there. Um, so, I mean, he was just tireless. Um, his, his reach was everywhere, um, but his main focus, his main concentration was in the Western suburbs of Melbourne, where um, he wanted young people to have a level playing field with everybody else. He wanted them to have the same opportunities. Um, so we were always talking through ideas um, about how we could uh, further improve our programs, further expand our programs. Um, Les's, Les's mantra has always been early intervention um, and specifically around the need to get youth workers into schools um, so that teachers can teach and the youth workers can help sort out the problems. Um, and we're hoping that, um, well, we're not hoping, we will make sure that Les's legacy does not pass with his passing. It will continue and it will get stronger. Let's talk about that. Obviously, Les trusted you to lead, you know, the, his foundation um, and counts on you to do the job well. What will be your focus now moving forward? Uh, to protect his legacy and to strengthen his legacy. Um, he was uh, he's quite a remarkable individual. I mean, he'd had a tough life himself. Um, he had a few health scares in recent years, but even when I saw him on Thursday, I mean, he, he looked fine. So it really has come as a bit of a shock. But um, the aim now is to protect his legacy and to develop his legacy so that people will not forget him. Powerful words, Paul. Again, thank you for your time today. Um, our condolences to you and thank you for taking the time to speak with us when you are grieving at this time as well. But thank you so much. What a legend he was.